If you are residing in the Great Lakes region, you can clearly see that the summer of 2021 is now over. Thus, it is once again time to close up the house and get back to model boat building. In this episode, we'll be making the mechanical steering mechanism. We start with a section of wire. You can find this at most hardware stores, disguised as the stuff that they use to hang ceiling tiles. If you cannot find that, a spoke from an old bicycle wheel will work. Beginning with a wire stock that is about 8 inches long. Now use your needle nose pliers to form a loop at the end of the wire. Next, fold the loop over 90 degrees. Estimate about an inch and a half down from the loop, and using your heavy wire cutters, clip the section free. This will be your rudder post. Your loop should be just big enough to allow the wire it's made from to slide freely through the loop without much play. Next, use your needle nose pliers to bend a 90 degree turn in the wire from which you had cut the rudder post. That bend should be about four times as long as the wire is thick. Now at the far end of that wire, make another 90 degree bend that is perpendicular to the previous bend. The length of this one should be between five and eight times as long as the wire is wide. This bend will be the one that fits into your rudder servo wheel on your radio control equipment. You have just made your rudder control bar. Next, you have to rig your control bar to the rudder post. A small piece of 1 16th inch balsa wood with a hole the size of your stock wire carefully drilled into it will do to cap the control bar. To hold it in place, use a dab of super glue. If a bit of glue seeps and fastens the two bars together, you can simply break them free. Once the super glue is dry, a dab of yellow wood glue will help secure the cap. Now we have our rudder control mechanism.